Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily vibes for the 28th into the 29th, okay? This is for all signs. We're going to focus on love. We're going to focus on love. We're going to focus on love. <laughs> Not money. Let's focus on love for today. What do we have for today? Keep in mind that this is not a private reading. Any comments below that say, oh, this isn't this isn't happening for me? Well, the reading's not for you. You get blasted for that. So, um, this reading may or may not be for you. Keep that in mind. Ego. Absolutely. Five of Swords. First card. Damn. That damn Five of Swords. Release. Release. I give up. <laughs> you win. You win. That's an ego card. Power struggles. Conflict. Constant battle. I give up. I'm not going to fight. Goodbye. See ya. Adios. Giving up on this commitment. Not happy. Ego's in the way. Pride. Time for me to release. Not happy. Again, somebody is really, really discontent where they're at. This is going to, this is kind of, I mean, just did one reading. Ego is driving. And somebody sees that this is no, there's no, there's no happiness here. Well, the Knight of Cups, at least we got a little bit of love, even if it's false. I mean, let's see what it is. Oh, shit. Come on now. Oh, holding on to a dead end commitment. Damn. Five of Pentacles. Wow. So how many cards? We got ten cards. We got ten cards. Remember, there's consequences. There's consequences for the choices that you make. And it looks as though somebody is in the process of making a decision. He's saying, hold up. Hold up. Be careful. Because what you own, owns you. And this is a card of, do you choose love? Or do you choose what's in those cups? What do you choose? Be careful. Because what you own, owns you. If you choose what's in the cups, you choose the possessions. And that's what you got. That's what you got. Their possessions. They don't talk back to you. They don't hug you at night. You can't take them with you when you die. He's saying, wait a minute. Choose wisely. Because the choices that you make will affect you, probably for the rest of your life. Are you thinking clearly? Are you? What are you going to choose? Somebody has been clinging to the memories of the past. Staying in this situation. Keeping themselves trapped. Refusing to take that blindfold off. Refusing to accept the truth. You know, the same old story. Holding on to a dead end situation and it's getting old. There's no commitment. There's a lack of happiness. Whoever it is that they're waiting for doesn't see it. Damn it. Oh, God. It's really time to come out of this darkness and see the light. Somebody is wasting their time. Not getting prepared for the real deal. Not getting prepared for love. 
hanging on to a false romance, right? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Are you choosing wisely to hold on to the past that the past rejection? It's time to stop protecting yourself. And that's what's happening subconsciously. By holding on to this past non-commitment. You're protecting yourself from getting hurt again. Subconsciously, that's what's going on. Somebody is missing an opportunity for real love by holding on to... Their pride, okay? Their pride and their ego is in the way because they were rejected. And, you know, it's hard to accept rejection. It's time to release. It's time to stop holding on. It's time to step outside. Of the situation. It's time to stop holding on to that dead end situation that is no longer committed. There's no more happiness there. And it is absolutely positively getting old. There's multiple options. If somebody could just open their eyes and see that. I think that somebody is beginning to realize with that Five of Pentacles reversed that this is unstable. They're beginning to realize that this is unrealistic and unstable. This person can't even see what I'm offering. They don't even care. Some Somebody is coming to the conclusion at this time that you can't win with this person, the Five of Swords. You can't win, right? It's time to walk away. It's time to give up. It's time to stop pretending. It's time to stop staying stuck. Somebody has been wasting their time and it looks as though they're in the process of deciding, is this the right choice for me? I want relationship growth. I want love. We're holding on to this dead end situation that is not even committed and never going to be, isn't going to bring you love. Somebody is clinging to the past. Refusing to see the truth. Refusing to see the truth. And it's time to give up and release. And then, seriously, it's your own ego that is bruised. If you are holding on to the past, it's your ego that is bruised. There's an opportunity for love. At the end. In the end. But you have to choose wisely. It's up to you. It's your choice. Somebody is in the process of making a decision. Is this an illusion? Or is it real? It's an illusion. Somebody's been wasting their time thinking, hanging on to some false romance when there's an opportunity for a new love at the end of this situation if they could just see it and choose the right option. But we have some denial here. We do. Somebody is in denial and holding on to the dead end commitment that isn't even really a commitment. It's not really a commitment. So, 
Today is a day of power struggles. I mean, that's what it is. Somebody is struggling with their thoughts, their mind. Feeling conflicted about change. Fives are about change. It's up to you. There's consequences for the choice that you make. Choose wisely. So today is a day about making a choice. A lot of people are going to be in their head. Not taking action, just thinking about it. Today's a thinking day by the looks of things. Not really taking action. Mm. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Not focused on love right now. I'm going to focus on everything but love to bury my true feelings. Pretend this isn't happening by focus on my money, my job, everything but love. Ungrounded as well. Somebody is not thinking clearly. That's for damn sure. They're not thinking clearly, especially if they're holding on to somebody that's not even committed. Absolutely not thinking clearly. So yeah, it looks as though somebody is missing an opportunity for love because they're not making the right choice. Be careful. Because holding on to the wrong thing is going to have long-term imp implications. So anyway, yeah, today is a day of thinking about heading in a new direction. Somebody, But it's a thinking day. It's a thinking day. I don't see anybody taking any action. I don't. But this is about making a conscious change. To complete one cycle. To drop what doesn't serve you. And head in a new direction. This is a card of personal freedom. It's, there's an opportunity to break free. But it's your choice. So somebody is thinking about breaking free and heading towards a new relationship or love. You know, I'm ready. I want, well, some, a lot of people aren't ready. You know, somebody is thinking about it. Somebody is thinking about getting ready. They're thinking about heading out of this situation. This is at the very end. Somebody is probably thinking, you know, I'm wasting my time. I have love to offer and I need to go get it. But we have a bruised ego here that is still holding on to a dead end situation because they were rejected and it's hard to accept that rejection. So yeah, today is a thinking day, a, a day, a day about thinking about releasing it, thinking about stepping outside of your comfort zone, a thinking about stop protecting myself. I'm thinking about coming to grips with the truth. I'm thinking about leaving this lie behind. I'm thinking about not committing myself to this lie anymore. Somebody is in the process of making a decision. Is it time for me to go? Is it time for me to own up? Is it time for me to see this as it really is? This person is never going to 
acknowledge me. Why would you hold on to somebody that doesn't even care? Because of your own insecurities? Because you're used to abandonment? That's what you know? You have the opportunity to choose a different path, a different option at any time. Stop wasting yourself on a false romance. Don't let your ego and pride get in the way. Somebody has been wanting to prove themselves. Prove that this past is going to come back. You know, they read about it. They read about it. They told everybody, you know, and it's not happening. And now they feel like a fool. Be careful. Be careful with who you listen to. Honestly, what you read, it's not about proving yourself to whoever, it's about happiness at this time. Stop pretending and choose another option. Good luck.